हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर पासिंग गुड डेज एंड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू जीरो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई एक्सटेंड माई कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल माई व्यूअर एंड पार्टिसिपेंट फॉर द न्यू ईयर ओके वेलकम टू माई चैनल इट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड टू एंड वन हंड्रेड वन ओ टू वीडियो ऑन फॉरन एक्सचेंज विथ डिफरेंट टॉपिक कंक्लूजन फॉर द चैनल ओके यू कैंडली वेन यू कम टू माई चैनल वेन यू ऑन माई चैनल प्लीज ऑन द बटन सब्सक्राइबर बटन एंड देन प्लीज कॉमेंट एंड शेयर टू अदर पीपल ओके आई ब्रिंग दीज Hashtag. These are about it. See, you can find out. You will get into my channel. One hashtag is a complete subject like banking, overall banking. and general banking which is the head or header of all topics remittances import export if you have import any goods you have to remit you have to send money to to other country when you are involved in the export department or you are exporting or your client export something to abroad naturally on behalf of the customer we will receive remittance therefore remittance is the main route outward remittance inward remittance okay so please carefully learn my complete channel each and every video can enlighten you can bring some knowledge if 145 147 148 at least 150 videos uploaded on youtube if you 30% knowledge gain from my channel you will become a good banker this is all effort i am not getting anything in two years i got an only 6 dollar i spent in two years more than that for internal international uh, sorry internet connection time factor preparation of the foreign exchange on involved more than that but uh, but if you don't subscribe me if you don't watch my channel i can't get anything okay therefore it is my request all of you to please subscribe my channel watch properly a to z complete video don't skip otherwise your knowledge will become half or less than the desired target 
the people will to learn the complete banking okay i am reading you the the hashtag which are one hashtag is a one chapter banking okay whole banking with bring all import and export we involved in the remittance letter of credit documentary credit advising bank all this topic or one abbreviation is a great reading a great knowledge ir irrevocable letter of credit this is a one sentence and one abbreviation irrevocable letter of credit which mean if once lc is open you can't revoke means the confirmed letter of credit irrevocable credit until unless all parties involved opening bank seller and buyer three main person can amend or revoke the letter of credit and revocable letter revocable no binding you can revoke any time the importer of open the lc and within such time within within before shipment he revoke the letter of credit come to me and come to his bank and ask him to revoke this credit he is not good he revoke the letter of credit is a confirmed letter of credit okay international international trade and finance when you export or you import good you have to make finance against import that is known as let lim loan against imported merchandise the importer pledges the goods and after signing some documents request you to please finance me to pay off my custom duty and all other duties and levy to release the goods the banker mostly under the state bank regulation the opening bank after receiving import or import bill may finance to importer under lim l i m loan against imported merchandise okay ltr loan against trust receipt merely sign the ltr and avail the loan facility against the document against the goods the goods are placed under custom bond or the custody of the bank and bank finance the importer pad what is pad payment against document when we receive the documents we lodge the documents and the pad the head of account okay and pad debit and foreign bank exporter bank or beneficiary credit these entries are passed okay icc then what is icc international chamber of commerce icc office their office and head office in uk international chamber of commerce brochure the binding articles which imposed restrictions and the framework under import and export are made documentary credit documents are involved in the credit known as a documentary credit when the advise the lc to foreign bank or seller bank they ultimately brings document to their bank exporting bank and they send us the documents the documentary credit okay negotiation scrutiny 
दीज आर द टॉपिक एंड एवरिविएशन नेगोशिएशन द पेमेंट टू द बेनिफिशरी आफ्टर प्रॉपर स्क्रूटनी एंड चेकिंग द डॉक्यूमेंट्स स्ट्रिक्टली इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट नो वन चेंजेज इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन वाइट बटन वाइट बटन्स प्लास्टिक जिप प्लास्टिक विथ प्लास्टिक जिप्स दीज आर द कंडीशन वट रिलेट दैर सी इज अ बैंडिंग एक्सपोर्टर एंड इम्पोर्टर विद इन फिफ्टीन डेज नेगोशिएशन ओके इफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर स्ट्रिक्टली इन टर्म्स आर अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेट ऑफ क्रेडिट द बेनिफिशरी बैंक और एडवाइजिंग बैंक टू होम being importer i send the documents they are liable liable to pay after debiting our nostro account at their end to customer if the documents are in order okay revolving credit revolving credit limit passed for 1 million and after shipment and payment again they can start a new lc or shipment effectively made is revolving credit one after another the credit card is the best proof or best ex <coughs> exhibit of revolving credit confirm letter of credit sometime exporter or seller don't believe to the importer or the bank of importer they ask applicant bank opening bank to add confirmation from bank of new york upl upon the lc favor of new york and bank of new york add is confirmation to the letter of credit to guarantee the payment to the exporter this is known as confirmation under nominal charge they add their confirmation to the lc okay advising bank first of all opening opening bank i am importer and i am the opening bank under request of the importer i open the lc i am opening bank and after opening the lc we send the lc to bank of new york to further advising to the seller you are known as opening bank and who advise the lc is advising bank exporter bank new bank of new york on behalf of the ex on behalf of the exporter beneficiary of the credit exporter you are all hashtag and prepared and gather from book of alastair watson and made the list for you bill of entry bill of sorry bill of bill of exchange under negotiable negotiable act 1885 section 5 is defined the bill of exchange direct made by the maker directing certain person to pay on demand or at det determinable future time the is the bill of exchange bill of uh, bill of lading the bill of lading issued by shipping company the shipper issues the bill of lading to the exporter copy of set 2 bill of lading 3 bill of lading to the exporter and exporter brings all documents to new bank of new york his bank or london bank or bank of china they are the exporter bank and they collect the documents bill of lading and further send us for nego after negotiation send us to release the goods in our country bill of lading 
first class shipping lines in the terminology because chartered party bill of rights not acceptable is a weak 